Hey guys, so another background change, bear with me here. A lot of you were commenting about how my last background was super cluttered. I only saw really, really few comments that actually liked the background actually. And I thought it looked strange when I uploaded the video and it was just a bad background in general. And so I just decided to film in front of my Woodstock poster. I don't know, this could work. I'm also considering filming in front of my bed, but for now we're just gonna kind of switch it up. But the background is the least important part of this video. I have a very big announcement for you guys and I'm very, very excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What I'm going to be talking about today is my plan for the next year. So I'm honestly just gonna start off from the beginning. Last year in about May, I was riding around in the car with my mom and she brought up the fact about how Lindsay had a really small schedule senior year. She was only there for about three hours a day because she did work program at our school and she had taken a class online so she didn't have to do it in school actually. And her schedule just worked itself out to where she only was at school for like a really, really small period every single day. And she was like, yeah, I just wish that Lindsay did online school or something her senior year. She could have had so much more time and she could have just kickstarted her life earlier. And I was like, well, mom, you know that I'm in the same level courses as Lindsay and my senior year is going to look pretty similar to hers. Like I'm planning on doing work program as well and it'll just work out that way. And then she brought up the idea of me possibly doing online school. And it was also an idea that I had considered before. So then I just got really excited that like my mom had just kind of brought up the idea for me. And so long story short, I talked to my counselor and I got enrolled into two online summer courses. And so my plan going into all of this was to just do my senior year online so that the goal was to graduate by the end of my junior year. And so what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I am 17 years old. I am a junior in high school technically, but I take my senior year online. And in two weeks, I will be done with all of my senior courses. I'm completely on course to graduate this May. And I know you guys are probably angry, like what the hell, Megan, you never even mentioned this at all since last May. It's been almost a year, what is wrong with you? And I was honestly um, slightly nervous to film this video because I didn't want you guys to get angry with me, but I just didn't really share that part of my life with you guys until now. Just because I didn't want any negative comments like, oh, you're doing online school, like blah, 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 just like every other YouTuber. No, I took an extra year of school online so I could have the opportunity to start my life earlier than planned. And so that's also another part of what I wanted to talk with you guys about. Next year, I'm not going to be in high school anymore. I'm technically a senior right now. I am graduating in May. It is close. It is very close for me. And so I just really needed to finally tell you guys about this and finally tell you what I'm doing. And it wasn't even you guys that I kept this from. I did not tell a lot of people at my school that I was even doing this just because I don't really like getting sad over the thought that I'm not going to be in school next year. At first I told a really, really small group of my close friends and then the beginning of second semester in my first period class, I just decided to kind of just randomly say it when we were doing like a get to know me activity with our new teacher that semester. And the question was like, where do you see yourself in the next year? And I was like, um, well, I see myself in a year, hopefully living in California with my sister because I'm on track to graduate this May. And you know that awkward silence when you like say something and then everybody in the class kind of like directs their attention to you and you're just like that was a complete situation that I had gotten myself into and my teacher was just like nice moving on <laughs> and then of course it's high school by word of mouth it kind of spread from then on and now I just get questions about it from time to time but like a lot of people do know I'm graduating but a lot of people don't know that I'm graduating so I don't know, it's weird. It's a weird situation. But yes, my plan is to move to California. Please, before you write any kind of mean comment like, oh, California, like every other YouTuber. No, I'm not trying to go there to follow anybody. No, I'm not trying to go there because I think it's the cool thing to do. Georgia is not the place for me. I in no way see myself going to school here and having a life here that would be nearly as good as my life in California. There is so much opportunity out there. It's beautiful. And I just completely fell in love with everything about California when I first visited there. And I think that's really important for a place that you're planning on moving to. And every single time I go there, it's just like, I don't even know, just like California has my heart. I don't know if it's because I have family there or because of the weather or something like that, but just something about California. It's just, I don't know. The only thing that matters is that in my life right now, I see myself there. And if some of you watch Emily's videos here on YouTube, Lindsay's roommate, she actually kind of like let the cat out of the bag before I even announced it to you guys that I was going to be living with Lindsay in a different part of California. I don't even remember what she said, but she was basically just like, 
I'm not living with Lindsay anymore, like, she's going to be moving to another part of LA with Megan. And a lot of you went crazy in the comments were like, what Megan? Like, Megan Rosette? Who is it? Her sister? And so yes, it's me. Lindsay and I are planning on moving in together, and our goal is to get out there by July when Lindsay goes back to school. So if everything works out as planned, I will be moving with her in July to our new apartment together. And I just get so excited when I think about living with my sister in a place that I love to be and having time finally to dedicate to my channel. And I'm going to be taking a year off I'm 17 so I will not be enrolling in college. Once I live there for a year, if I do choose to go to college, I can get in-state tuition. So that's definitely a reason why I chose to take the year off. And then also I chose to take the year off because I really don't know what I want to do with my life. And my parents obviously brought up the idea of me going to college early and everything like that. And I don't want to just like ship myself to some school at age 17 and try to get a degree in something that I really don't care about. I really want to take the time to discover if I want to do beauty or if I want to do fashion or if I want to do something other than that because there are so many options in the world of what I could do with my life and that just makes me so excited and I'm really planning on taking this year off to kind of like find myself in a way and I know like a planned finding yourself is kind of like a weird thing to say but I really just kind of want to figure out where I want to take my life. And I really, really hope that you guys are hearing me out on this and hearing my opinion. And I know you'll probably have a lot of questions because everybody that I tell this to has a ton of questions, but I'm kind of trying to explain everything as best as I can and answer any questions before you guys have them in this video. But I'm just basically going to be taking this year off to grow my channel and get a job. I wanna work out there. Some of you know that a family that I was very, very close to that I would watch every single week, their whole entire family moved from Atlanta to California. And a lot of you have even met them in vlogs the Schwartzes and little girls Jaden and Leah. I definitely consider them a second family and they live out there and the other day I was emailing Mrs. Schwartz and she said we're gonna take such good care of you out here like we're so excited for you to come and I'm just so excited to be able to live in the same state as them and Lindsay and I are trying to find somewhere that's not too far away from where they live and my uncle also lives out there and so it's not like I'm going to a really unknown place. My sister has lived there for a year. She knows a lot about what she's doing and my uncle has lived there for a very long time. The Schwartz has lived there and then moved to Atlanta and then moved back to California. So like I said, it's not like I'm going to a completely foreign area and getting myself into something I can't handle. But I definitely wanted to bring up the idea of me growing up too fast because Ms. Schwartz was actually the one who kind of made me realize that when I first told her, she was just like, Megan, I'm worried for you. Like, I think you're growing up a little bit too fast. But like I said before, I kind of want you guys to really understand that this is where I am in my life right now. And I really feel like this is best for me. I'm definitely a strong believer in everything happening for a reason and so I don't think that it would have worked itself out this way to have my, like my mom bring it up first and then me do really well in all of my classes and earn all of my credits and it's just so crazy to me thinking that I'm literally on track to graduate in a few weeks and yes my life is moving very fast and yes I'm going to miss it here yes I'm going to miss my friends here but just where I am in my life right now that is where I think that I need to be and really at the end of the day it's just kind of me following my heart at the moment and no I didn't do this because I hate Georgia or I hate my school or anything like that. I really do love it here and I love the friends that I've made here. I love my house, I love living here, but I just have a lot of opportunity that I could be investing myself into now and in following the dream that I have now and so many ideas that I have for this year off now to in the long run just benefit myself as a person. And so I'm just all kinds of excited and I really hope that you guys are excited for me as well. But also it's scary, it's a little bit scary, you know. I'm 17, I'm moving out, like, that's kind of weird. But I feel like I've always been kind of a more mature person and I feel like I'm definitely ready to handle this kind of a situation and live on my own, well, with my sister, but not with my parents. Like, I've never done that before. And obviously my parents are pretty sad about it too, but Lindsay and I are gonna visit a lot. We're gonna see my parents often. I'm gonna see my friends often. I'm still going to be going to YouTube events and participating in YouTube and everything like that. Part of the reason why I'm so excited is because I'm going to get so much more time to invest into my channel and I can be like vlogging more and making beauty fashion videos more and anything that you guys would like to see honestly and I'm just so excited to have this opportunity and to have the people support me in my life to be able to make this dream that I had a reality and I definitely definitely want to thank you guys for getting me to this place and getting me to the point at age 17 where I can go and live on my own and obviously I'm going to be looking for work out there but YouTube is also going to be my main job in this and it's just so crazy to me that at this moment my life has taken off to this point like I really just can't thank you guys enough to have helped 
help me get to have this opportunity and wow, I'm like half on the verge of tears, half excited screaming, so it's weird. But that is my big announcement. That is my big future plan. Like I said, if you don't have anything nice to say, please don't say anything at all. I'm really excited for the next chapter in my life and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because I'm not going to be leaving you in the dust at all. I'm going to be able to be doing the things that I love in the place that I love with the people that I love. And I really just couldn't be happier to share this with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Dream